What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Roger. I'm back with the video. And the title today, I will be doing a winter pickups video. Basically, I've collected a whole bunch of items, a whole bunch of pieces from Christmas, my birthday, all up until now. And this, in this video, I'm just gonna, in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys all the pieces that I've gotten, and I'm gonna show you guys the prices where I got them from, and I'm gonna give you guys a little information on why I got them because, as you guys do know, I do just be buying clothes. Sometimes I buy clothes and I don't even have anything in my closet to match them. So that is the number one big problem that I also started to realize in developing my new style. So a lot of these pieces I feel like will help with my new style, but we'll see. We'll see because honestly a lot of these clothes I don't even remember buying. That's another thing too. I'm just all over the place. But before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, I do make fashion and sneaker related content. So stick around and hit that subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. Yes, I am getting on TikTok. Yes, your boy is getting on TikTok. So go follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Jaden X Monroe. But if you are a returning subscriber, make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so I know that you're enjoying my content. So let's go. I actually thought about this nice idea that I will be implementing in a lot of my videos. Before every video, I will show you guys one piece of clothing, accessory, jewelry, anything that pertains to clothing and sneakers. So for today's item, we have this ring. But this ring is so significant to me because I actually wanted to start getting into rings and silver jewelry and like that. So I found this ring on ASOS for like $5. I will leave the link to that in the description box as well. So, okay, so the first item that I do have are these khaki um, cargo pants, worker pants that I got from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box. I will leave the link to everything on this um, this rack in the description box if I can find them because a lot of the pieces are from small businesses. They might have an Instagram. I will leave the Instagram link or whatever down below as well. But yeah, these are these, um, these cargo pants that I got from Amazon. They were about $30, honestly. At first, I didn't really like them because I didn't like the way they fit. They were way too baggy, but then honestly, I wore them and they weren't as baggy as I thought. Um, just first glance, I thought they were too baggy, but they do have two pockets on the leg and on the back of the butt and then the regular pockets in the front. These pants are very, very, very nice. I did get them in a khaki colorway, size 32, and I'm about 5'9", so they fit pretty normal on me, honestly. I was just overreacting because, you know, first glance, you'll be like, oh, wow, that's pretty big on me, but no. I mean, look at, look at this. Like, these definitely don't fit my ankles, but it goes good over sneakers. Over bulky sneakers, it goes really good. Over high top sneakers, it goes really good. That's another reason why I do like them. I probably would be trying to get a pair of dark brown or like um, an olive green or even like a black or navy blue because these pants are just so hard. Okay, I actually have three shirts. One of the shirts I did not actually pick up, but um, I got it as a Christmas gift, so I'm going to be showing it in the video because I did not show it in my other video where I did get myself for Christmas. So it is this shirt that my stepsisters got me. My sisters, they got me this for Christmas. It's basically all the Nickelodeon character, guy characters in one picture. I don't know if you guys seen it, but there's this picture that, um, this picture where a lot of the female cartoon characters are, um, are on the stairs, not stairs like this, probably straight stairs, but it's like a brownstone, black and gray with all the Nickelodeon guy characters are just on it. And I think this is actually pretty dope. You can wear this under a hoodie and it'll be really nice, honestly. Or even with a pair of sweats on a like nice chill day. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing that. Next is this white and gray Havoc shirt. But it says Havoc across and it has like a line, almost like um, almost like a like a like an arrow at the bottom. Nice. The the outlining is like it's in like burgundy type of dark gray. And that's only because they're trying to outline the silver. I think that this is pretty nice. I got this from a small streetwear brand that I do follow on Instagram. I put it in my 10 streetwear brands that you need to know about videos. So if you want to go check this brand out, the link will be in the description box as well. But you can also go check out that video and see a whole bunch of other streetwear brands that I was talking about. Next is this brand called Coda. I think it's called Coda's, Coda, Kodos, Kudos, Kodos. I have no clue. I'm not going to lie. But actually, this brand reached out to me on Instagram. I posted a picture on Instagram, and they were like under my comments, basically like DM me stuff like that. So I DM them because you just never know, you know, free opportunity and stuff like that. So they gave me a 10% discount code to buy this shirt, and it only took off like maybe two dollars. But I wasn't that didn't that didn't affect it anything. Um, I actually got this shirt. It almost looks like a Greek mythology god holding a skull, like you know, like uh like that movie romeo and juliet stuff like that that's the type of vibe it's getting me in the font it's just in all red now they did show me a shirt that they are coming out with next they asked me if i was going to take a picture with this shirt to post them and tag them and stuff so they can add me to their instagram capsule okay the next item that i have here is this minimal cardigan it's just a stress cardigan now this buy was definitely very 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 impulsive 
I only paid about $40 for it, so I'm actually not that mad or anything like that. But this was very impulsive. I did get in the medium, and it's very, very true to size. And yeah, this was an impulsive buy. I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, this was a very impulsive buy. As you see, it is from Minimal. Minimal is actually a brand on my list that I would love to work with, but I don't know. We gonna have to see. Show you guys what it looks like on, um, because I think that, I don't know, I think I could pull it off, but if not, I am also setting up a Depop to be selling my clothes, so that will definitely be on there, or Instagram shop, I have no clue. I'm very, very indecisive, so bear with me, bear with me. When I do set up whatever I do set up, you guys will be the first to know. Obviously, I will put in a video, put my links down below, all that good stuff. Now, this next sweater that I got is from this brand called Brown Mill Company. It is a New Jersey Piscataway-based brand, and they have really, really nice stuff. Actually, I actually found out about this brand through a couple of people. Um, I actually came upon it on Instagram myself at first, but I was actually in one of my video production classes, and this boy that's in there, his brother is actually the owner of this company. So he did like a video story on him sewing all the stuff together and everything, and I thought that was so dope. So I hit them up and I asked them if I can pick up this sweater earlier because if I would have shipped it on regularly, it would have came a week after my birthday. And I wanted it for my birthday because I was supposed to wear it for my birthday as my birthday fit, but I decided not to wear it because I ended up getting a large and it didn't fit how I wanted it to fit. I probably should have gotten an extra large, but that would have probably been pushing it as well. But I had to, you know, it's a small business. So, you know, I'm not really upset. I actually really like the design. The world needs unity. I actually like this font, this design and everything. And on the back, they have their motto, their 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 code, what they stand for, Brown Mill since 2009. So they've been out there for a while. This is Puff Print, by the way. Y'all need to get into Puff Print. I don't know how many times I have to tell y'all. Stop wearing all that janky stuff. Get into Puff Print, Puff Print, Puff Print. But this order was $80. That was $80. And I paid that full. I didn't do no I have to pay no Klarna. Nothing like that. I paid all full $80. Now this next sweater that I got is probably one of my favorites and I will definitely be buying more of these because this is an essential that you definitely need in your closet. This is a Carhartt hoodie. Um, Carhartt, just so you know, we ain't full gazy over here. Carhartt. Carhartt brown hoodie. It actually fits really nice. I did get this in a large to get that oversized kind of feeling and go over my jeans and my pants and my car goes very, very well. I actually really like this. I got this off Amazon through the Carhartt store. So you can get it on there. And this was only like $30 to $40. That was very, very inexpensive, especially because, you know, people be trying to sell hoodies for like more than that. As you just saw, my last hoodie was $80, but I'm not mad because you gotta support your people. You gotta support your people. Black owned small businesses, you gotta support your people. Next pickups are these two hats. I got this all black Yankees cap because I do like wearing dad caps. I do not like wearing fittings or snapbacks really, but I actually have a snapback coming on the way from Paxson. I don't know what they do with my stuff, but I don't know. I actually got this to wear with the green sweater or the brown sweater for my birthday fit. I actually ended up wearing the brown sweater and this hat that I'm wearing right now. I mean, not that I'm wearing right now, but this hat that I have in my hand, this is a MoMA dad cap. My dad got it for me. He has a connect there. Um, basically just a cousin of mine works there. <laughs> a cousin of mine works there, so he was able to get this MoMA hat for me. It's all black, says MoMA on the side. If you guys do not know what MoMA stands for, Museum of Modern Arts. I've been there twice. It's actually very, very dope inside. But when I went there, I was not doing YouTube at the time or I was not into fashion how I am to fashion now. So I have no recollection, no memories, no pictures. Actually, that picture right there on the wall, that little marble picture, is I got that outside the MoMA Museum. Somebody was selling it on his cart and I picked one up and I bought it all the way home. But yeah, this is a nice hat, nice dad cap. I like the all black and the white. I'm actually probably gonna get another hat like this that does not say MoMA and just probably compare it and just wear the two interchangeably in and out. But I actually also like the MoMA on the side. I don't know, I might get a hat and put my name on it or my initials, Jaden Raj. Ooh, that might be hard. That actually might be hard. But that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will be leaving all the links for all the pieces that I bought down below if I can find them if i can remember them if i can find their instagram and stuff like that if they're even still available i will try my best don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on that post notification bell because we are at 426 maybe even 430 maybe even 400 something i don't know we're just growing ever since i got to 400 we've just been growing so quick and i'm actually very 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 excited to see what happens next to see you guys just liking my videos and stuff like that i'm excited for the rest of the content that i do have coming out because as you guys do know my sneakers pick up video i will be doing higher styles with all three of those videos and those videos on my channel do way better than any other of my videos so we're gonna see and i might be doing that on tiktok too that might be my thing on tiktok just do mad high style videos but like i said don't forget to like
like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell. Cause I am dropping a lot of this for the rest of 2021. The year just started and we going up. So peace. Agnes.